The Wakatobi Archipelago, nestled in the heart of the Coral Triangle, is a haven for marine biodiversity. Here, the turquoise waters teem with a vast array of colorful marine life. But, there's something else that's equally captivating in these waters, a tribe with remarkable abilities who call these seas their home. Welcome to the world of the Bajau. The Bajau, one of the indigenous groups of Indonesia, led a nomadic life at sea. They have made the ocean their home and are deeply connected to its rhythms. So close to the Setha Bajau have also developed an environmentally friendly way of fishing. Armed with arrows and spears, they are able to maintain the tradition of fishing that is safe for marine ecosystems. They dive to a depth of 10 to 30 meters, slowly walking through the water and catching their target fish with a spear or spear gun. They also use fads, piles of bamboo tied together that function as a gathering place for small fish that serve as tuna bait. These fads are tied and weighted to the bottom of the sea, and a small floating house is built on them as a resting place for the fishermen when they go out to sea at night. They have built traditional floating houses that stand on the water, a remarkable feat of engineering. These houses are scattered throughout the Mola village area in Sulawesi, and at times, the Bajau even live on wooden boats and explore the high seas. The Bajau are renowned for their incredible swimming and extraordinary free diving abilities. Out Indonesia, the Philippines and Malaysia, the Bajaus are seafarers who mostly live off fish. They are known as, orang ikan, or, fishmen, for their prowess in searching for fish and natural elements that can be used for crafting. Traditionally, their practices revolve around protecting the sea. It's no wonder that the legendary diving power of the Bajau tribe has attracted the interest of researchers from around the world. From their studies, it was found that the Bajau tribe has developed a bigger spleens which allow for more oxygen in their blood when diving enabling them to stay underwater for up to 13 minutes at depths of up to 60 meters. The researchers also discovered a unique gene in the Bajau tribe that helps them to control thyroid hormones and dive well even at extreme depths. They can dive repeatedly up to 8 hours a day. Some spend up to 60% pf their time underwater. Living in harmony with the sea, the Bajau have a set of taboos that they strictly adhere to. They never throw sea cucumbers, chili water, ginger, orange juice, cigarette butts, or ashes, wood charcoal, or kitchen ashes into the sea. They also never wash their cooking utensils in the sea or eat turtle meat, as it is believed that turtles help humans during disasters. The Bajau are a remarkable tribe, but on the other hand, their privilege of blending with nature makes them a marginalized community. They do not enjoy the same rights as citizens living on the mainland, and with the fishing industry aggressively exploiting marine resources, many Bajau are starting to leave the ocean due to their limited food sources. It's important to recognize the cultural and ecological significance of the Bajau tribe and work towards preserving their traditional practices and promoting sustainable living. The Bajau people serve as a reminder of the incredible diversity and resilience of human life, and we can all learn from their deep connection to nature and the sea.